Well, sourcing for the right yarn should be an easy task in Faustin this weekend as the town holds its second Fiber Fest. Our Brenda Mack gives us a preview in this week's In Focus. My grandma taught me how to knit when I was a little girl. Knitting and crocheting are just some popular ways to yes. weave a piece of clothing. But this weekend in Faustin... This is finger loop braiding. That and the Scandinavian knoll binding. What you use, just a single needle. Are just some ancient techniques you can learn at its fiber festival. They did it back uh, medieval times. The more people I can teach, hopefully it won't die out. In its second year, the sustainable sheep and fiber community returns bigger with free classes and demonstrations going on all weekend. We want to educate consumers on the fiber arts and we want to give producers an opportunity to make a fair wage for their products and do that locally. There will be more than a dozen vendors showcasing their fibers. We have alpaca. We have people who have various kinds of sheep breeds. Some with a story to tell. Each color is based off of a picture that I have taken myself. For me, it's all of my pictures that inspire me. And then it's almost like each skein of yarn tells a story. And at festivals like these, fiber artists say they can learn new techniques and gain inspiration for their next project. Tomorrow I'll be wearing the mosaic scarf that I made after I learned that type of knitting last year. Fiber artists say this is more than a hobby. It's gotten to where I've started making socks and hats and things for friends of mine. So it's always nice to, in the winter, see him come in out of the cold with one of my hats on. It's like, oh, I know where you got that. And they're excited to pick up a new tool for the new season. You have to be willing to, to put in the time, but it's a labor of love. So For this week's In Focus, Brenda Mack, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.